Hi guys, so basically I am today just showing how I set up um, and do my one stroke. So this is just a normal standard side plate and I use some tissue and I just re-wet it. I use it again and again. Now that I'm placing downhill because I've already used it but because it's dry I can just reuse it. So I'm coming in with a tiny little bead of my blue paint from incandescent shine and i'm going to come in with a tiny little bead of the red i literally just use a very small amount because i don't want to waste it because it just goes so far so somebody was asking me how i load my brush now i am by no means good at one stroke but i am practicing and while i'm practicing i thought if i can help i'll help so I am just going to do my practice on paper because I don't have any nails at the moment to practice on and ignore my trashed ones. So I'm going to zoom in now and this is how I load my brush up. So I'm going to, I'm using my flat at the moment. This is not the angular one. This is just the flat and I'm coming in both sides and as I'm going up and down, I am actually pressing them bristles out so it does get nice and well loaded. So I'm going to do the exact same thing a couple of times and I'm going to go over that area because I will reuse this paint. So even though it's been smudged onto the greaseproof paper, it, it will get used, it won't get wasted. So that's my brush nice and loaded. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Really sorry about the dodgy angles because I'm not used to recording painting. <laughs> so I'm just going to come in. Now remember this is the flat. I personally like the slanted one, the oblique brushes. But I'm just coming in and just practicing my petals. But it was more about how and when I'm using the brush and how and when I'm using the paints so that one load is doing all of these petals I didn't quite get it where I wanted so I did another one on top So I'm going to pull my palette back into view. Obviously, when I'm working, I don't normally move my palette about. So all I'm doing is re-going up and down that loaded area. And then I'm going to do a double petal. Because what I'm really doing for... I'm, I'm showing the brush loading for somebody else. But I'm actually just trying to practice my petal strokes. The whole muscle memory thing. So I'm not going into that paint again yet. I am just going back into that area that I've already loaded. And I'm making sure my brush is the right way up. Can't tell you the amount of petals I've ruined by picking my brush up the, the second time the wrong way. Okay. So now, I don't use tissue for my brush. I have a wet wipe and I am just wiping out the excess paint. I'm not trying to scrub my brush. Now it's gone into water and I'm going to wipe it back on here because we don't want to dilute the paint. It's very fluid and we don't need to. So I'm just going backwards and forwards to actually make sure all that paint is actually out of the bristles. So I am actually swapping over brushes now and I have just re-wet but I'm drying it straight off the angle, the, the oblique brush. So 
when you when I'm loading these two colors, it doesn't matter which way I'm doing them. I'm just the 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 pointy out bit is the bit that's going to be the top of my petals, and the the shortest side is going to be the inner petal. So I'm just loading it up exactly like I did before. But for me, this is my preferred one stroke brush. But I was just showing the how we load up the different kinds. And like I say, for me, this is just petal practice because I am determined to master one stroke. And I hope in some years to come, I look back at this video and cringe and cry with how bad it is. But for now, I'm, 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 I'm pleased with my progress. So I am deliberately pulling the palette into view. So I'm not using any more paint. I am just reworking them two lines. And that petal wasn't big enough, so I've just gone over and made it a little bit bigger to fill in that gap because I felt that it needed, it was more the shape and size of the petals. But I'm going to attempt a couple of little leaves and I'm going to see how I go. I'm really sorry you can hear my printer in the background. So yeah, I'm just pulling it into view because I'm going to actually clean off my brush now because I'm going to change colours. So I'm giving it a good clean out because I'm going to put white on my palette and I don't want the blue or the red, uh, the blue or the red interfering with the white in my palette. So I'm going to just put the same amount of tiny little square in there and obviously other than the blue and red on there all that other colour is on the other side of my practice palette. So I'm going to load up the outer edge of my brush with the red and the inner corner with my white and I'm just going to do the exact same thing going up and down and giving them a really good blend. Now, I do only put the tiniest of amounts of the paint because it really does go a long way. I'm just going to move that out of the way. It's really daft that I'm so used to recording when I'm doing nails. I know my angles, but when it comes to other things like that, like the painting, I'm like, oh, I don't even know if it's the right angle. So, because I loaded the, the outer edge of my brush with the red, because that I wanted the petals predominantly red, it's giving a nice gradient on the inside from the white. So, I'm just pulling my palette into shot. So, you can see all I'm doing is taking the paint. I've decided I want a little bit more, so I'm just loading it up. I'm making sure that the pointiest bit there we go so I'm just going to continue all the way along I'm not going to keep doing the voiceover and I will see you at the end when I actually clean and put my brush away but I think I will just leave and yeah let you finish watching it if you want <laughs> but I hope anybody has found this helpful like I say I am nowhere near happy with my work but I do love these paints very very much and they work so nicely on a velvet matte top coat but I'm too cheap 
when I've got clients, I'm going to be practicing on them. But for now, I just practice on paper. <laughs> so I will see you all in the next video. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.